That is spectacular. I'm at the TELUS Science Museum to witness the total lunar eclipse, the first in nearly three years, and you won't believe the views. You're looking at it thinking like, what the heck? I have never seen it like this before. That is bonkers. Did you enjoy the lunar eclipse? Yes. Are you guys tired? No. Yes. We're tired. <laughs> Let me show you why this is happening. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. This only occurs during a full moon, and it requires the moon and the Earth and the sun to be in perfect alignment. So what makes the lunar eclipse rare is that it has to be in the perfect position in Earth's shadow. So even though we do have a full moon every month, it doesn't always go through it, the shadow. Now this is where things got really cool. You would think that the Earth's shadow would cause the moon to look black, but after what we just saw, clearly, that's not what happened. Instead, the moon appeared to have an eerie reddish coloring. Why? It's because Earth's atmosphere filtered out light's shorter wavelengths, those blue colors, but allowed the longer red wavelengths through, inspiring the name Blood Moon. The red is more vibrant on the screen, but when you can like really see it up close on the telescope, it made waiting in the line so like worth it. So total lunar eclipses are red for the opposite reason that our sky is blue. So during the day, the blue light scatters while the rest of the light passes on. But during the lunar eclipse, the blue light is scattering while the red light is bending to be projected onto the moon's surface. So we're seeing the sunrises and sunsets from all around the Earth at that time projected onto the moon. Now, if you missed this event, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to wait. But if you do live in North America, you got another chance in 2026 and 2029. As for me, I'm going to bed. <laughs> What'd you say? This is awesome. <laughs>